and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a Call the Wild deck. This is what meme tier days are all about. We are not playing any champions. We are playing a deck completely built around this three mana burst spell, Call the Wild. It says for the top four cards of your deck, draw each Yeti, Poro, and Elnuk. So as you can see, everything that we have are going to be Yetis, Poros, and Elnuks that we get to draw from there except for the spells and except for Avaros and Trapper, because that's going to also put in Rage Yeti on top. But though, besides that, everything else are Poros, Yetis, and Elnuk. So basically, um, we got our entire Yeti package, right, including Abominable Guardian, and we got all the, the other Yeti cards in here. So we can try to get, you know, two Yetis in play, um, get free Abominable Guardians. And then there's also Elnuks. We have our entire Elnuk package including the brand new Volunteer Elnuk that I actually don't think I've played Elnuk since this has been an Elnuk. And so we can, uh, you know, try to get all the Elnuks in play. And so we're going to go wide with those uh, with those Yetis and Elnuks. And then we're using Poros as basically our early game fodder because we're going to want to still try to curve out. So we got this Elusive in here and the Patch Portal Bot that can do all sorts of stuff. It can have, um, you know, Tough and then just be two mana Lissandra basically. Or, you know, it can have Lifesteal or Elusive or, you know, any other uh, keyword. So that the Poros kind of fill our early game besides the one Poro sled. And so then hopefully we're able to go wide and we get like big attackers. And then to finish the games out, we have two pack mentalities. Give all of our allies plus two, plus two and overwhelm. So that's that's the goal of the deck. Basically, you know, Elnux, Yetis, Poros all together with the Call of the Wild and some pack mentalities. So will it ever win? Who knows? Maybe, maybe not, but we're gonna try. We're playing it over in normal with our Call the Wild deck. Here we go. All right, we have Darkness Control, which, you know, if we had to, you know, pick a matchup, that's not like the worst matchup to pick. Bull Elnux always get shuffled back. I think we'll shuffle back the Tall Tales as well. Oh, should have kept the Tall Tales. So we'll have this for round four. I think we're going to play this right now, actually. Only one? Okay, two. Because I was thinking, I was like, alright, we just drew two spells in a row. We'll probably have some units on top after that. Has Augment. Augment's not too valuable. Alright, we'll play the cow. Get a new cow in the deck somewhere. In the top six cards. Out. Scout's not too bad. I'm gonna play a five five overwhelm right now, though. Regeneration. Look upon me. All right, Vagar is definitely going to be a problem with increasing the damage of darkness. 
That's how that is. There is light yet within me. So basically, I can either save. Yeah, I think we keep saving. We're not playing the Tall Tales. Because it has Overwhelm. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should just be playing the Tall Tales here. And just accepting the Ancient Yeti's Doom, considering they probably have Pokesticker Vile Feast. Scout. Scorpio predict is predicting two wins. I'll take two wins. Ooh. Resist to the last. Check off, baddies. You're not a hero, right? Oh, good draw. Call the wild. Ooh, and we got elusive. I'm gonna leave that to you, little guy. <laughs> four for four. This is doing five now. I was very surprised at seeing that Vagar come towards us, but I was pretty excited. Alright, pack mentality time. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it works. We could definitely lose here. If they just darkness us, play something else that makes it darkness, darkness us again. Hopefully they darkness, you know, like the Enrage Yeti or something. I guess I could have blocked the, you know, Senna with a Yeti Yearling, but that's not really what we're about here. We're about trying to do something cool. Yeah, all right. Not killing us. That's a good sign. Work the fabric, minions. Work it. Okay, so what do their blocks look like? Um, four. F okay, so we have overwhelm. They're taking this force. So they go down to eleven, and then we have twelve, seventeen overwhelm. And so they have to block with one of those two. Basically, I'm trying to think like, do we play the daring portal before attacking? And I think we do. So I think we might as well play this before attacking. All right, puts him down to two. No. Moving in. Hello down there. That piercing darkness healing five. Could have almost killed him. Well, I mean, they, yeah, they have a lot of Nexus damage if these survive, but one of one of these two has to die for them to stay alive. 
So we have to just hope that they don't have, you know, hope, hope they don't have the ability to kill me. No, we're we're probably not winning this from here, but we're playing a meme tier deck over here. For the wicked, for the dead, I bring rest. Obviously, we're still dead. It's a pretty nasty little combo that just gets to do, you know, just a ton of direct nexus damage, you know, making, you know, two mana fast speed double decimate. 40% of your life right there. It's a good combo. Good combo. All right, you champions, you defeated our cows and our poros this time. Good Braum wave. Okay, now we got Thralls. We could do okay against Thralls. Maybe. I guess the Volunteer Elnok's good to have. Because the Volunteer Elnok will make an Elnok in the top six, which helps out the troop of Elnoks. That deck's always much, much better if they got Frozen Thrall on uh, round one. Yeah, if only we had Mystic Shot, right? <laughs> that would have been pretty cool how they do like Braum Wave and then I just Mystic Shot them in response. That would have been cool. Yeah, we could play Mystic Shot instead of Troll Chant. You know, we got, you know, we got that slot to do whatever it did. Do either one. So we could tro troop here, but I think if we troop, it's very likely that they. Uh, have double count out, you know, like they get two eight eights, and that then we didn't really do too much. What will you have? Point the way, and I'll make the way. Basically, we're going to need some help. Let's take this outside. We could theoretic theoretically have 10 elusive, right? 4, 7, 10. What 
Gross. It's two tavern keepers. Came close again. Pack mentality needs to just be plus three, plus three, not plus two, plus two. Pack mentality is just too too small. Alright, so we're going to try taking out the troll chance. Uh, we're going to try playing two three sisters instead that maybe, you know, like we flash free something that we need to, or we could Fury the North for that um, additional, you know, pump spells to help us out. Or even Entomb if they have like some champion, like a Vagar or something we need to Entomb. So we're going to try two three sisters, and then I want to play a Give It All, because this card's really cool. And this could give all of our things elusive if we have Daring Poro, and make them all like five fives. Could also give them Overwhelm if we have like the Ancient Yeti in play, give them all impact, um, you know, I don't know, give it all's cool. So like instead of instead of just playing more pack mentalities, I'm going to try one and give it all also. So we can play like give it all on our opponent's round and then pack mentality on our round. Get excited is another option. Over those cards. Get excited would be good against Poppy. One if I'm supposed to keep Tall Tales. And three sisters. You know what? Let's do that. We're actually going to send the Call the Wild back. So I have faith that we're going to find another Yeti. Check it out. And they're going to be a deck that will, you know, be attacking and blocking us, all that kind of stuff. And so I think Three Sisters is going to be at a premium, because I think the combat's going to be at a premium. I don't want to play the Tall Tales, then they single combat Yeti Yearling, but then again, that would be them single combat -ing -yer Yeti Yearling. So that's not so bad. It doesn't sound so bad, at least. Alright, so we'll put it in Elnuk in the top six. No challenges? Well, that was a lot of cards they used, at least. They walked around. What do you got? Quick attack? Fury for peace. 
Seek or beyond. Flash freeze. I would have rather Fury to the north, but I was one mana short. We'll go ahead and flash freeze that. They can reattack and give it plus two, plus two, but then it's only looking at being a two, three at that point. They don't have like the best rally attack here. You know, they just use the golden ages. It's not they don't really have a very good attack. So we kind of made them waste that golden ages. We're not looking too bad. Finally reached the peak. I have been expecting a brave traveler. Overwhelm. Good fury of the north, but uh, Troll Chan would have also been a successful card to play. So Volunteer Elnuk just cre keeps creating Volunteer Elnuk that creates more Volunteer Elnuks, and there we go. Look at that, we got a win. The troop. The troop. Good win. Yeah, saying the troop actually wants the game. It, it looked like it did. All right, so we're taking. I'm, I'll change the deckless command. Poppy Lulu. Y'all know we are in normals, right? Y'all know we are playing, like, a no champion deck in normals. Right? I'm gonna go ahead and keep all this. You know, we've seen that one problem with, like, Trapper putting the Yeti on top, so then you don't get to then get to draw, like, your normal cards. Um, but that's what Call of the Wild's for, right? We put the Yeti on top, get an Elnuk in there, and then we go draw him. The Volunteer Elnuk. Done. I can't believe you did that. I am stunned. <laughs> All right, so this this is not the troop that we made from the volunteer Elnuk. So that means the next card has to be an Elnuk also that we draw. Ooh, or not? Okay, so that means we have an Elnuk on top for sure. Um, Yeti Yearling, kind of the, uh, oh, Young Witch, the Pompey, Yuck. Hmm, I want to play this troop right now, because it's definitely an Elnuk on top, so we get at least one Elnuk. Let's just play it. Only the one? Ah, uh, only the one. That's too bad. Cause otherwise, you know, I could have gone in Rage Yeti, Yeti Yearling, and then we're putting the Abominable Guardian in play. I should have gone that route. Uh, that's really unfortunate. Definitely hoping for one of the four or five L nuts. That was as bad of a L nut hit as we could have. Okay, so the volunteer made it this one now. So 
when you fail, try again. Okay, okay. Alright, so the first volunteer made this volunteer, which made this troop. Which got back, like, these are the OG volunteers that we had. What wondrous discovery is away from Easy does it. Get him, cows. There's another cow. Alright, so we can uh, flash freeze the poppy. I'm also thinking about entombing poppy right now. <laughs> Legends of Cowaterra. I think we entomb. Still. Doesn't let them get the buff. They can't play another poppy. Um, I still get to play Yeti Yearling, which means then we have two Yetis in play, and so round start we get the Abominable Guardian, and then next round we play Pack Mentality. Like, we're still looking good. I go. Death, doom. Proud and loud. Hello, cruel world. I don't know what's going on over here. Alright, I should probably block something. Down to two. It's a good attack. Especially that pokey stick and stuff. I didn't want to block very much. I would have rather them like not put very much pressure on my Nexus. I don't want to make these blocks. I'd rather these stay alive for pack mentality next round. But I have to stay alive, so I have to make these blocks that I don't want to. Huh, okay. We can kind of assume they don't have pokey stick then. Let's go get um the pack of cows. It's a cow party. Cowabunga. I'll do. I was like, if I <laughs> lose for not playing one of those, we got him. Okay, look at that. Looks like the three sisters was the card that we needed. You know, we didn't, uh, you know, the three sisters, both those games were definitely important. So how about that, our little cow deck with no champions? We just beat a poppy deck? Crazy. I don't really want the second Yeti Yearling. I'm gonna send that back in the portal sled back. Okay. Yeah, our pack mentality is doing some work. Good job, Zymeth says, just uh, finish Saltwater Scourge with all A's for the health. Good job. Overwhelm. Rude. Patience. Hot on the 
trade. Okay, got that enraged yet already. Took the bait. Trading mana wise, pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Call of the Wild's gonna refill our hand for us. The sea is too shallow a grave. Okay, so if we want to give it all, we can only spend one additional mana. Alright, so they are going to Vile Feast. We're gonna block here for the f four five, blocking the five four. Yeah, that thing. So now their five four doesn't get to block my five five. We don't really need to uh, um, give it all though. Let's just go ahead and play all that stuff. And. Pac Mentality? Sure. Yetis! Wow, three and two. Call the wild. We beat a couple of good decks too, like a good like good decks you see a lot of in ranked those last two games with these. And the the Call of the Wilds were, were really important on those. Uh, but we had a couple of games in a row, like with Troop of Belnux being big time, but then that game was really about like the the enraged yetis, the one mana five fives, and Call of the Wild with one mana five fives. We kinda showed like how good that is of, of just drawing into a bunch of one mana five fives. Um So yeah, nice three and two record. Even though it started off slow, we lost our first two. But then changed the deck the deck up a little bit, made a couple improvements, put in three sisters, which was really important, and the give it all, which wasn't very important. But the, the three sisters were really nice. You know, we got to flash freeze once and entomb another time. That helped out. All right, how about that? Call the wild. So, uh, is this going to be like a you know tier one deck that you're ranking up with? No, of course not. But it is um, definitely a successful meme tier deck that you can uh, just you know have some fun with and play some games and win some games and you know be able to play some Elnux, Yetis, and Poros all together in one single deck. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this Call the Wild deck. De definitely let me know in the comment section. I was very impressed with those last few few games and very happy with this one. Hopefully y'all were as well. And if you do play it yourself, of course, let me know how that goes um, also. But if you got other meme tier deck ideas, let me know. We're going to have another meme tier day tomorrow uh, with some more, uh, more don viewer submitted donation decks and donation deck ideas like this. Uh, we're going to have, um, let's see, like an Action Echo deck, a Maokai Quinn deck, Xenotype Researcher uh, Predict deck. You know, we'll be doing some stuff tomorrow, so that'll be fun. But that's it for Call the Wild. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.